In this video, we're going to prove that if a divides b, then a squared divides b squared. Let's go ahead and go through this very carefully. So proof. So this is an if-then statement. You can think of it as if p, then q. It's also called a p implies a q type statement. So the way to prove this, uh, well, there's multiple ways. In this video, we're going to do a direct proof. So to prove a P implies Q statement, you start by assuming that P is true. So you say something like, suppose P is true. So in this case, P is simply A divides B. Now you have to somehow show that Q is true. So typically what you do in a proof like this is after you write down your hypothesis, which is P, you have to go a little bit further. You have to write down what your hypothesis actually means. So what does it mean for A divide B? A for A to divide B. This means that B is a multiple of A. So it means that B is equal to K times A, where K is an integer. So you write down your hypothesis, and then you write down uh, what it means. And so now we have to think about where we're going. Um, we're trying to show that Q is true. So what would it mean for Q to be true? Well, we know if A divides B, then B is a multiple of A. So this means that B squared is equal to, say, uh, R times A squared. So this is what we're trying to show. So it makes sense now to start by looking at b squared. So now, b squared is equal to parentheses ka squared. That's because b is equal to ka. Then you can just square each factor. So k squared, a squared, where, well, k is an integer. That means that k squared is an integer as well. So we have that b squared is equal to an integer times a squared. That's exactly what it means for a squared to divide b squared. And that completes the proof. So again, you start by assuming that p is true. So you write down suppose a divides b. Then you write down what it means for a to divide b. And then you have to think about what you're trying to show. You're trying to show that q is true. So you say, okay, you're trying to show that a squared divides b squared. That means that b squared is a multiple of a. So the natural thing to do is to start by writing down b squared and then see if it leads you to uh, where you want to be. I hope this video has been helpful.